Hey everyone, 365 Ninja here. Today I have an Excel tip for you. We're going to take a look at using cell references in Excel formulas. So I'm here in Excel 2013 and I have a spreadsheet with various numerical data points on it. And the first most basic thing to learn about Excel in general really is that each cell has a reference label attached to it. So keep an eye on the upper left corner here in the formula bar. This is actually called the name box. And when I have a cell selected, let me select a different one and you'll notice it changes. So G13 is the reference or the name of this cell. That's the format that Excel uses across everything to name individual cells and to reference the data within them. Now, when I want to use that in a formula, remember that formulas use the format with the equal sign, and then I can use that cell reference, G13. Now, as I typed it in, you can see that that cell was highlighted. If I press enter, I get a duplicate of that data, that number. So now let's see what happens if I use cell references to add two cells together or to add the numbers in two cells together. So I'll add G13 and G14. Press enter and that's the total of 1,619 plus 5771 added together. I didn't have to actually type those numbers out. I simply used the cell references to indicate which data points I wanted to add together. So we're going to stop there with that really brief two minute introduction to using cell references in Excel formulas. We'll be creating more 365 Ninja videos on Excel formulas, so please stay tuned. And for more tips and tricks like this in Office 365, check back with 365ninja.com. Thanks.